come to you, get these questions answered, alright? This is the first time I've ever come to the station and not got bags. Love it, you know, I'm proud of this. I'm like, chill out, chill out. Give yourself up. Good afternoon, guys. Do you want to come on through? Yeah, sure. Hey, how you doing? I'm going to have a good seat, guys. I'm going to have a good seat. I've never been in a police station before, like never. I didn't even know this existed to be honest. Okay, Just don't worry about it, we'll try not to keep you here. Um, is it really for ask your age or is that... No, only if you're old. Yeah. I'm 43. How old are you? 44. Yeah, She's very weird, man. <laughs> really? <laughs> you're 44? You, you wouldn't believe it, would you? <laughs> so, how long have you two been in the police force for? Uh, so, I've been in the police 20 years. Uh, just finished 22. Do you not get like scared of being a police officer? <laughs> I would. Um, there's a lot of generalisation that you know there's doom and gloom out there, and it's really not that bad. Uh, there's a lot of really good people out there that we meet. Um, so I think our families perhaps feel that more than we do. What are a few challenges that you face? Uh, you know, a big challenge for us is social media. Um, what the public see in the news isn't always true. I heard you mention that you've been in the police force for about 20 to 22 years. Yeah. Uh, could you tell me how the police force has changed within that period from when you started? It's changed in a lot of ways, you know, the, the technology we've got, for example, um, we've got handheld devices now where we can use apps, um, stop and search, for example, we do it there and then it's all, you know, recorded on data, yeah. it's, it's time and date stamped where before it all just run a pad, it had to go into supervisor, whereas now it's all accountable. Say as a community, like, how do you feel like you connect with the young people? Yeah, it, again, it's a two-way street, isn't it? You know, it needs youth to approach us as well and the perception that, you know, um, we're going to arrest people, we're going to have a roll around in the street. That's not the case. No, I'm just a normal guy from Coventry. You know, I don't want to have any conflict with yourselves, with people my age or older. Um, I'm quite happy to chat to you like we are now. Would you come and speak to me in the street? No. And I think that's all about building trust with the young people. So I think that's a massive uh, area that we're working on and we will continue to work on because the more trust we can build with young people and we need you to help with that, um, the, the better our relationship will become. Like, What do you want to leave in basically 2019? Like, What do you hope for this our city, for Coventry? I hope that we can build these you know, bridges that we talk of, that you know, you think that, that we, the police, have a problem with yourselves and vice versa. You know, Yes, there have been incidents before where we haven't perhaps got on very well, but there's loads of incidents where we've got on great. And there's been community events that we've been there. You know, we've had photos taking kids, all the social media stuff. You know, I think there has to be this whole um, change of that there's a problem. I don't think there's a problem. It's just a little bit of lack of communication. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't it be your responsibility to give out a helping hand, for instance, to let them know that we're not here to target you? specifically and we're here for you to talk to us and often we do conduct operations in areas for a certain objective yeah. let's say if, you know there has been crime report in that area you know, a pocket of crimes been reported in that area we have a duty to the public to address that don't we yeah okay and is this your car yeah oh.